It is 7.37 p.m., which means it is time for your nightly dose of acid rain. It is really dark in here. I can't see anything. Time to put more orbs on pedestals. The video game. Hopefully, it won't be as many as it was last time. Well, I guess I already have 18. Hopefully, it is just not very many, because I, I don't want to have to collect a whole bunch of these things. I think I'm doing well enough. Shouldn't really be a big deal. But, if at all possible, I'd like to avoid having to grind orbs. Hey, how about that? So it's five, so I need to put ten more on there. Boom. Woo! All right. And the room brightens. Do nothing. And I still have four orbs left, so that's nice. Time to explore this area. Is that a fool's facade? Nope, it is just a wall. I wonder how they know that. Like, can they actually tell? Because I can't really tell the difference between a wall and a full facade. Guess that means I'm a fool. Guess that means I'm a fool. But they can definitely tell. You walk up there and they're, they're like, Buh! Buh, that's not a wall. Buh! Like, whoa! Not a wall, whoa! How can that not be whoa, whoa? Like, seriously, I'm so surprised. It's like, come on guys, chill out. It's not that surprising, it's just, it's just not a wall. It's like, this place is covered in fake walls. It's just all over the place. I think at some point they'd stop being surprised about it. They're also surprised about treasure chests. They're su surprised about talking to people. That seems like something that shouldn't be that shocking. It's like, oh, I'm talking to someone? What is it? Every time, exclamation mark appears above their head. Seems a little unnecessary. Seems like they're being a little bit dramatic. Pinello, that whole dispel thing is clearly the reason why you're out of magic right now. Like, you'd probably be better, Al, if you did not constantly use Dispel on these guys. Especially since they have Reflect. Probably means you're doing more harm than good. Oh, well. Oh, wait, wasn't I supposed to switch Bosch out? Yes. Dang it. Alright, Bosch. As soon as you're not targeted, I'm switching you out of here. You are too high leveled, sir. Yeah, and right now I'm letting the black orbs go. Because I feel like it's more productive to let them gather. Gotta watch where they go, though. There he goes. Off in that -ish direction. Duly noted. We'll see if I can actually send myself that way or if I have to leave this area. You never know. There's a maximum to how big those fat orbs get, though. That's, that's the thing you gotta look out for. Is that they won't just go on forever. At some point, it'll stop gathering. And you definitely don't want to just waste black orbs like that. So... Let's see, who do I want out now? Let's go with, let's go with Ash. Let's get Ash and B Penella out here. They don't really interact much. The queen and the not queen. The queen and the, the girl who's kind of useless. Penella, why are you here? I was just thinking about it. You don't really have much of a reason to be, I mean, Vaughn doesn't either for that matter. Oh, there we go. But, uh, you have even less of a reason. Like, you're just a, you're just a, like, small town girl. You're just a small town. Civilian. No one died. Like, Vaughn's brother died, and that's kind of his reason for doing this. It's like, oh, man. Because my brother died, I'm gonna work really hard to fix it or whatever. Bad empire, because to kill my brother, yada yada. That sort of thing. Um, you don't have that excuse, Penella. You're just here for no reason. I mean, I guess you're just following Vaughn around. But that seems like a pretty weak, weak storyline for a character. Like, my story is that I follow around someone else. My story is that I loved a boy so much that I just randomly attacked a bunch of monsters with him and went on a giant adventure for no reason. Like, yeah, you were kidnapped at one point, Pinello, and I get that, you know, you kind of had to adventure with us at least to the point that we rescued you. Um, but past that, you could have easily just, you know, chillaxed in Rabinaster, you know, rested on your laurels and all that. See, Ash, this is why you move more quickly than you did. That's right. I'm blaming you for her death. Your fault. Your fault. Calling it. Ash, stop using Kiraga. Also, you're really bad at cure spells, Ash. Like, your magic is not on point. Not on point. 
Uh, anybody hurt except for Pinello? No? Alright, cool. Going for it then. Seriously, Pinello. Stop using Dispel. You know what? I'm changing that gambit. I realize that it's useful in certain scenarios, but not this one. Alright, let's see. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Um, here we go. Uh, yeah. And, I, yeah. I, yeah. And, I, yeah. And last but not least, I, yeah. There's no reason for me to constantly be freaking dispelling, especially on these guys who have Reflect, so it's not even working. Now instead, whenever she gets a Kiraja, she'll use Cure on them, which will either cure us or kill them, both of which are positive outcomes. So, I'm okay with it. Is this a Fool's Facade? Nope. Fool's Facade, Fool's Facade. Any of these facades for fools? No? All Wisdom Facades? Is, is that the implication there? That normal walls are wise man's facades, I guess. That could be pretty deep, right? Like, oh, the wise man hides behind walls. That actually sounds like, oh no, 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 no. Everybody, gambits off. Nobody attack, the no, Vaughn. Bad. Nobody attack that thing, okay? Hello, magic pot. Nice to meet you, sir. Do not mind me, Sir Magic Pot. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, no. Okay, this is fine. Just nobody attack the Magic Pot, okay? Just attack the dead bones and not the Magic Pot. We don't need death, widespread death on our hands here. I would much rather that not take place. Okay. There you go. Real calm-like. Real, real smooth. Just no one make any sudden moves that might upset the magic pot. He has a delicate temperament, and he's really, really freaking strong. All right, I need a Kiraja. I need a Kiraja up in here. This sucks. I don't like not being able to use my gambits. Why can't there be a just don't attack the magic pot gambit? That's what I really need. Gosh dang it, someone's dead. Yo, magic pot, will you help me in this battle? I don't think so. I don't think he does that. Pretty sure that's not a thing he's willing to do. Gosh dang it. And it's spawning these guys. Frick. This battle's gonna go on forever. And I'm, I'm not even comfortable with like doing a Kiraja, because I don't know if that's going to hurt it. And if it does hurt it... Gosh dang it, she's disabled. <sighs> if it does hurt it, then I'm screwed. And I don't want that life. Not about it. Okay, there goes another one of those guys, at least. Okay, Penelope's using Asuna. Alright. Okay, Vaughn, you need to attack someone. This Necrofiend works. Um, Ash, you can attack the Necrofiend. Penelope! You can use Kira... Wait. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, you attack the Necrofiend. Ash, you actually use Kiraja. Before everybody dies, please. Yay! We did a thing. Now attack the dead bones. You know, Magic Pot, I feel like you should you should probably like thank us with happiness just for protecting you from all these terrible monsters you're surrounded by. These monsters are smart. They know better than to mess with Magic Pot. You don't mess with the magic pot. You just don't do it. Are these going somewhere? They are, right? I think they're not just... Is that... That's not where they originally were going though, right? No. That's a new spot. So, it looks like we're traveling even further down the rabbit hole. Hmm, yes. Mm, the rabbit hole. The hole where the rabbit goes down. That's clearly what this is. I've always seen rabbits traveling down holes like this. Wait, this is where I came from, isn't it? Sure as heck is. Is that the only way to go? Yes, it is. Okay, then. Settles that. Looks like... Okay, yeah, we can turn gambits on now, right? No one's attacking the magic pot, right? No one's attacking the magic pot. Alright, good. Yeah, it looks like my dark orbs are now gathering elsewhere. Let's just watch, everyone. Make sure 
No one attacks the magic pot. Alright. Nope, no, no, no. I saw you going for it. Ash. Saw you run in that direction. Not happening. Not freaking happening. Okay. That was a nice fight. I liked it a lot. Okay, here's a dead guy. Here's the soul of the bones or whatever. Probably makes sense to somebody. And oh, I killed the physical form, but the not physical form still remains. As a ghost. You kill a skeleton and get a ghost. Boogity boogity. Where are you going? I can't go that way. Where are y'all orbs think you going, huh? I can't go that way. The heck? Must be in the next area. Hmm. 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 Alright, well, guess that means I'm moving on. Hopefully to somewhere where all those black orbs are gathering. Hopefully I didn't just waste a ton. But still. One more pedestal lit. Let's see if I can light one more. Before doses end. It's the fancy way of saying before the dose ends. So I've been to two of the far. Please don't attack me, anyone. I'm just an innocent explorer. No need to kill me or try to kill me. I'll just be on my way. Thank you for not attacking me. Hooray. Okay, another dark room. Another pedestal to light up. Let's go. Set a black orb. One. I have 22. And another. And another. And another. And another. Oh, hey. It was five again. How about that? Well, then we'll set another ten. Do it. And boosh. That's three pedestals down. Only one to go. And on the next dose of Acid Rain, hopefully I will get to that last pedestal, and I will light that up. This club be lit with weird purple light. See you then. Bye.